welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today I'm going to show you how to decorate a Christmas Eve box. Now these have become quite popular over the past few years. We've been using them for quite some years now. My kids love Christmas Eve and what we do is fill them with all sorts of bits and goodies and things to keep them occupied on Christmas Eve and even as they're getting older they still really really love the tradition so we're definitely going to carry on with it. Now this Christmas Eve box is actually going to be a family Christmas Eve box. It is slightly larger than the ones that I use for individual boxes for my children. I thought it'd be better to get maybe a bigger one so it could be for a family. So I'm going to keep it quite traditional. You can do all sorts of things with these. You could paint it all sorts of different colours, maybe browns, make it look like an old case. You could put golds with it. You know, you could really go to town. But I'm quite traditional and I think that Christmas Eve boxes look really nice red. So I'm going to keep it that way. And you can obviously adapt it and, and make them however you want. So as I said, these boxes here, um, this is the one that we're using. This came from the works and it was just £10. I think that's quite a good price. If you haven't got other works near you, they do have an online shop or you can look on eBay. So I know that um, people watching lots of different countries and they wouldn't have other works, but you could also look on eBay and, eBay and maybe some shops near you um, would have them as well. Now they come obviously with the hardware and all the clasps and stuff on the side. They've recently changed these and I do prefer the new ones. I think they look a lot better. But what I do before I start painting is I take the hardware off and it just makes it a bit easier. Um, so you haven't got to sort of go all the way around the edges and make sure you're really careful. So I'll just take that off and I'll take off these hinges at the back as well. And then we'll start painting. And I'm going to use chalk paint to paint mine but you can use acrylic paint if you want to and I've also used emulsion you know just from the DIY shop I've used that before just as long as we see it all it won't really matter what paint you use but I am going quite traditional and I'm going to use this bright red colour I think red's fantastic for Christmas isn't it it's definitely we can get away with most things at Christmas being red so that's it I'm going to I'll take these bits and bobs off and then we'll start painting Right, so what I do is I always keep the hardware in a little tub or something because I, every time I lose a screw or something goes missing. So just make sure you keep them all safe and all together. So now it's just a case of painting it and I would probably say it would need a couple of coats. There's no need to prime it or anything like that. You don't need to do anything. Um, the only thing you might have to do is to lightly rub over it with some sandpaper. Sometimes um, they're a little bit raised so you could probably do that. But that's the only thing. And I'm just now going to paint it. Right now once this is dry I'm going to give it another coat and then I'll let that dry and then I'll be back with you. Right so while the box and the lid are drying I'm going to show you what I'm going to put on the top. Now I actually bought this from eBay and I'll put the link for the seller in the description in case you wanted to pop on and buy something for yourself and as I mentioned to you it was going to be for a family so I had made up our family Christmas Eve box and I think that is so cute. Now I'm going to paint this black because I'm going to keep it quite traditional as I said to you before but you could paint this gold or anything you know you could make it really special it could look you know quite quite glam but I want to keep it a traditional kind of um, Santa looking kind of box if you see what I mean. So I'm going to paint the top here all of this in a black and I'm just going to use an acrylic paint I've got a black acrylic paint I think so I'm just going to go to do that now
I'm going to leave the stars and I'm going to paint those white. Right, so now we're going to put some glitter on these white stars and what I'm going to do is I've just got a piece of paper and I folded it in half and we'll put that underneath and then that will catch our glitter. So I'm going to use, this will be like as a bit of a glue as well, the matte finish that we've got. You can use Mod Podge as well, that will work just as, just as well. So I'll just pour a little bit in the lid and then get a small brush you want probably quite a flat brush and then we're just going to paint over the um, the white star so don't put too much on but make sure you've got enough on just go really carefully with it and obviously do this when you make sure all the rest of your paint's dry don't do it if you've got like some bits that are wet still because the glitter will stick to it and then you just get your glitter and we're just going to sort of sprinkle it over the top. Just go really carefully and sort of move the glitter back and forwards like that until it sort of comes out. And then we'll get like a light sprinkling of glitter over the top or a big lump in my case. And then you just tap it off. And because we've got this down here, we can fold it and get it back into the tub like that. But if you can see there, I don't know if it's showing up, we've got a glittery star now and all these little bits that are on the black will just brush off because that paint was was dry. But you can see it and it looks really nice. And I wanted to kind of go for the, the white, black and red, just for the sort of Santa-y kind of colours really. Right, so this is all finished and I haven't actually sealed it or anything yet. I've just literally left it like that. Did all the other stars so they're all sparkly i don't know if you can see them but they are sparkly take my word for it and all that's left to do now this isn't sealed yet at all i haven't sealed any of this all we've got to do now is to put the hardware back on so we've just got to put all these little screws and knobbly bits back on and also stick on this on the top of the box but how cool i don't know which way yeah it goes that way around but how cool does that look when you put that against the red it just looks like Santa's suit doesn't it red and the black of his belt with the white with his beard now if you wanted to you could use something called would you bend that's um, some wood like uh, mouldings that you can put on you could also if you wanted to add more to it you could use um, das air dry clay and then you could probably use maybe some of these mouldings these are the redesign ones we've used these on a previous project you know, you could maybe go around the edge. You could really build them up and make them look, you know, make them look special and make them your own. This is the air drying clay that you can use. I'll put the link for this if you wanted to. So you would just stick that on with wood glue wherever you wanted it, paint it and just sort of build it up, you know, from there. I'm not going to do that. I want to keep them quite simple. I don't want to take away from this really cool wooden cutout on the top. So I want that to be the big focal point. And I think because it's black, it really does stand out. So sticking wise, to stick this down, I've got two options. Previous ones I've made, I've used a glue gun, which does work. So you can use a glue gun if you want to. Just be careful of like the bits that come out on the edges. Sometimes you can see like smudges of glue, but that would work. This is why I don't recommend you sealing it first, because you kind of, you're better off having this kind of, surface to stick things to and then sealing over the top now what i'm going to try in this instance is this gorilla glue now i know gorilla do, glue do i can't speak then a wood glue which you could use but that takes longer to dry than this one and i know you have to sort of like leave this for maybe 24 hours before you use it but i decided when i was in the shop that i'm going to try this one also out of um interest i did pick this up as well this is suitable for all these things here and at the bottom it says wood there was a packet that was very similar that didn't say wood on the bottom but this one says wood but if we turn it over you can actually use it for jewelry as well there you can see some stud earrings so i thought that would be really useful 
if Amazon sell it, I'll put the link for this in the description and I'll put in as much as I can. So first of all, what I'm going to do is to stick this on. So I'm going to stick it on and then I'm going to seal it before screwing the hardware on because I don't want to get any glue and spray on the hardware. So I've decided I'm going to do it this way around this time. And after reading the back of this Gorilla Glue, it said that it doesn't spread um, very, very much. It's got an anti-clog cap and no, no run, more control. And it says fast setting in just 10 minutes. So I'm hoping this will work quite nicely and you get two tubes as well. Right, so the problem with this or the problem you may encounter with this is it's a really large area and you want to stick down as many pieces as you can. When you're doing a hot glue gun, what you'll find is if you've got a real big cut out like this you'll start and put your hot glue on and then it will start and set before you get to the end so if you've got like a small one that works okay um, and that's why I'm hoping this sort of super glue would work so what I'm going to do I'm not going to do it all while showing you because I need to concentrate while doing it I'm literally going to go round letters I'll show you quickly like dab it round and I'm not going to use too much because it the Gorilla Glue is really sticky so I'm going to go all the way around, not splodging on too much. And then I'm going to go as quick as I can. That's why I'm going to stop filming. And then we'll put it on the top. Right, okay, this is one shot. You don't get another shot at this. I'm going to go over the top. I've got the tripod in the way. So I'm praying to God I'm going to get it level and just put it down like that. Let me just tilt it to me. Yeah, I think that is okay. And I'm just going to press it down ever so, ever so slightly like that just to, to grip it. And then I'm going to leave that. I'm going to let that set, let that dry, let it do its thing. And then um, we'll varnish it after that. Right, so I'm outside now and I'm going to show you how to spray it. So I'm going to use this sealer. This is a satin sealer. You can use a gloss one if you prefer a gloss look. Um, but make sure you're somewhere really well ventilated. Outside is perfect. Also, make sure you put something down to protect your surface because you do get like bits on it as well. So if you wanted to, you could wear a mask if you felt more comfortable. But you just need to give this a shake to start with. Right. So once you finish shaking it, give it a good shake for about a minute. Right, so then what you have to do is hold it around about 20 centimetres away from what you're spraying. You want to go in kind of movements like that. Don't go too close because you'll probably get drips. So just kind of spray like this and you'll see the colour starts to change. Okay, so just go from left to right like that. And because it's satin finish, it won't be glossy, um, but it will protect it. It will protect all of the paint that you've used if you use chalk paint it'll be absolutely fine so we're going to do that make sure it's all covered and I'll spray the whole of the box and then the last finishing finishing touches will put the hardware back on here we go so the Christmas Eve box is all completely finished now and hopefully you'll agree that it looks really really nice I'm really pleased with how it's turned out it's a really good size this one and again this is the large size from the work so you can get them smaller if you wanted to make a smaller one all the hinges are on and um, I think they look really nice. I love this colour with the sort of Christmas Eve feel. I think it looks really nice. And it's all been sealed inside as well. And this is quite deep. So you can get loads and loads and loads of goodies. You can also, if you wanted to, maybe put some um, padding in the bottom with put some like red satin or something. That's what I did with my girls um, just to make it look a bit different. Um, but I really, really love it. Just a little bit of an idea as well for you. A few days ago in a video we made some of these decorations. These would look fantastic if you wanted to hang them. Maybe from this clasp here you could hang them down there and that would look really, really cool. Just sort of like hook them onto there. I think that would look fab. Let me just try and tilt it a little bit so you can see. But that gives it a nice, you know, a little bit of another touch as well. So that's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. They do take quite some time to make, um, but if you get yourself, you know, in the zone for doing it, they're really, really fun too. So that's it for me. I hope you're all okay and I'll see you again soon. You take care. Bye for now.